minutes past the hour. Well, this is a big month for the Clinton Public Library. We've got Kate in studio, of course, to talk about it. Now, big activity on Thursday, but you've already had some things going on, right? have uh it has been a big month we had our youth birthday party on november 9th i believe and we we were estimating that about 100 people came so that was a great time people we did a little cake like a cupcake walk and a book walk and had balloon animals so that was certainly uh festive and then just this past saturday we had the history of the clinton public library program and i think like 27 people came so we've been really happy with the turnout thus far and everything's about celebrating where we've been and where we're going so did you sit in on the history of the clinton public library no sadly i didn't i was there but i was working okay. on the main floor and the program was upstairs so you actually had somebody come in to do the program right yes we did from iowa city he actually grew up here though in clinton uh, so i don't know how long he's been out in the iowa city area but he has done a program for us before about the christmas display lights um not the symphony of lights but the other one so yeah really we've heard really good things about uh his program on saturday people enjoyed it so now, does he just speak, or did he have slides? Did he, he have some He had slides, too. He had slides. So uh, my understanding is that he showed, like, what the library used to look like or um, from the archives, in a sense. It's like, okay, here's what it was, here's what it looked like, and to the point that people kind of meandered about throughout the library after, and they're like, oh, like, this was used to be that or vice versa so that was fun to see people kind of assess what we currently have going on too growing up as a north ender i went to the lions public mm -hmm. library never really went to the clinton public library would just always mm -hmm. go up to lions do you have anything to say about mm -hmm. lions um i don't believe so i think the main focus was on the <sighs> carnegie building the <laughs> library we're currently in but i could be wrong <laughs> uh, yeah Okay, darn it. So anyway, <laughs> Thursday is the big day. What's all yes. going on? Yeah, so we're having our big celebration on Thursday from 5.30 to 7.30. Six o'clock, though, was when the, our brief program will begin. I anticipate it being about 15 to 20 minutes, and Clinton's mayor will speak. Our library director will as well, and our library uh uh, board of uh, directors president will also speak so it will be pretty celebratory and then we'll have appetizers for folks cake um, that will be fun and we'll also have um, our maker space open and people can do kind of an activity and we're going to have some kind of like a scavenger hunt activity as well and raffle prizes so it should be a lot of fun um, we encourage everybody to come and check it out especially if you haven't uh, visited the library in a while. Now, there was significance to having it being a two-hour program, right? Uh, yes, because we're celebrating 120 years, so we uh, are calling it our 120-minute party, but of course, people can come and go as they please. They don't have to stay the whole time. Though so, we would love that, but they don't have to. <laughs> so Thursday, everything gets underway at 5.30. You said mm. the program right around 6 o'clock. I would yeah. imagine this would give an opportunity for mm. some people who don't normally go to the library, maybe to see what it's all about. Yes, certainly. And everything will be um, open, like the makerspace um, and our children's department, et cetera. Um, <laughs> though the library won't be as quiet as it normally is because of the party, we... We're, we're excited to hopefully host quite a few people that evening, and we're hoping that there's a big sense of community and camaraderie and people can chat with one another. So. And you were saying you're putting up signs, party zone or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. Um, we put up <laughs> signs yesterday that said, you know, the library's not going to be as quiet as it usually is on Thursday from 5.30 to 7.30. We usually close at 7, but because of the special event, we're going to be open until 7.30. Um, and it's like, be mindful, plan plan your visit accordingly, or join us. So that's yeah. pretty cute. <laughs> So, yeah, the refreshments, that sounds like a, a big deal. Yeah, yeah, we're having some catered appetizers and cake. So, yeah, people should come and see what we're having and enjoy that. Any punch? I think we'll have some lemonade. That's okay. my understanding. Okay, very good. Yeah. <laughs> what other activities you got there? I see you got another sheet there with you. Yeah, we have lots going on. Um, starting tomorrow, people who participated 
who dropped off puzzles as part of our puzzle exchange can start to pick up their puzzles. So we were like overwhelmed in a really great way. We had 39 people come to drop off puzzles and we have like 219 puzzles. So the way it works is if people dropped off puzzles last week, they can come in starting tomorrow to pick them up. So we're excited for that. Um, Later this week, we're going to have device advice on Friday from 10 a.m. to noon. Um, This is where folks can come in and ask any of their technology Mm -hmm. questions, maybe on their smartphones or their tablets, and get those questions answered. So Now, who handles that? That would be me. Oh, really? My goodness. Yeah, Yeah, that would be me. Um, And then we may have some uh, Synergy students from Clinton High School helping out with that program because um, in December, we're planning a collaboration uh, between the library and Synergy to bring device advice to different um, assisted living facilities throughout Clinton. So they're going to try to see what device advice is all about, potentially. I'm not sure because... Of course, they are in school, so I don't know if they're able to come on Friday. Synergy is a, a relatively new program. Mm-hmm. You, of course, are a Clinton High School graduate. Yes. Would you have liked to have been a part of a program like that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think it's just great for the students because they're learning real life, um, just how to do projects, how to make a difference in your community, how to communicate with possible partners. I think it's great. I mean, you can learn something in the classroom, but it's a little different to learn it um, in a real life community setting. And I think the takeaways are just wonderful. I understand. Bill Mischewitz and Kellen Schneeberger kind of head that up? Yes, they do. Did mm-hmm. you have either one of them mm-hmm. as an instructor? I had both. I had oh, both really? of them, yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Not in Synergy, but uh, yeah. AP World History and AP uh, Language. Yeah, AP mm-hmm. Lang. So, yeah. Okay. What else you got on, Kate? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and people can still participate in the historical building stroll throughout the end of November. So, we compiled a list of 11 historical buildings in Clinton and if folks visit each of the buildings in person and scan a QR code that's on the outside of the building they can read more information about the building itself but also indicate that they've visited the building and if they visit all of them by November 30th they can be entered to win a raffle prize so that's kind of a fun way to see um, Clinton um, at your own pace it's a passive program i mean you could do two buildings in one day or all of them in one day and learn a little bit and get out and do something i think with the weather starting to get cooler i don't know it's kind of a fun way to get outside and see what's going on can you give us a a couple of those historical sites yeah one is the library so come visit us um and then there's others throughout i know um Oh, goodness. There's quite a few um, throughout the Curtis Mansion, town. part of it? Or? Um, I honestly couldn't say. All the sites are listed on our website, okay. though. So go to yep. the website. Yes. So, again, Thursday, the big day. If you could, mm-hmm. once again, let us know what's all going to be taking yes. place on Thursday. Yeah, so 5.30 to 7.30 will be our celebration. At 6 o'clock is when our brief program will begin. You'll hear from Clinton's mayor and library leadership. We'll have free appetizers, raffle prizes, and different activities throughout to encourage people to explore the library. So we really encourage anybody to come to that. Okay, what is the website? It's clintonpubliclibrary.us. And what are the regular hours at the library? Yes, we're open Monday through Thursday, 9 to 7, Friday, 10 to 5, and Saturday, 10 to 5 as well. Okay, and what's going on on the North End now? Yeah, so that is our uh, Friends of the Library bookstore. They're open Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Monday and Saturday, I believe it's 10 to 2, and then Wednesday it's 1 to 5. All so right. you can come, go and visit them, yeah. Kate, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Check of the weather now brought to you by Frary Lumber. Very strong winds will continue.